This photo shows me with my ex-husband, Terry Wolfe, on our second wedding anniversary. Terry hasn't seen me in over two decades, since everything unravelled. But for me, our marriage fell apart barely two weeks ago. The pain is still fresh. Until the year 2000, we lived in London, where Terry worked as a freelance rock photographer. At some point, he moved down to Brighton, with enough savings to pay for the car maintenance, along with his other habits and trappings. By the age of 52, Terry had gotten hooked on social media, and like any social media addict, he felt deeply unsatisfied with his life. Born 
By 2021, Terry's lack of an authentic social life has brought him ever deeper into social media. He puts up photos, follows musicians, comments on hot topics and starts arguments with dated opinions. But there's an edge of desperation to his antics that other users can detect. Network algorithms react to the diminished engagement. They deprioritize him. They block and reject. Far from establishing connections in Brighton, Terry becomes more isolated with every interaction, a vicious circle, a negative feedback loop. Plans fall through. Dates don't work out. Gig work is hard to come by. Dear Terry, thank you for your application to shoot the Who concert at Brighton Centre in December. We would like to take the time to acknowledge your history and credentials with Mr Townsend and company. However, the Brighton Centre is running several long-term photography contracts and will not need your services at this time. Sincerely, Lyle Manning for B&H Promotions. In London, when he needed to think, Terry would walk the streets with his camera. In Brighton, he drives the roads and motorways. He may have given up on London, but Brighton doesn't seem to work for him either, and he's ill-suited to the shifting politics of online life. But unknown to Terry, he's not the only person struggling to negotiate the metaverse and its new rules of engagement. Many are migrating to a new, more immersive platform taking the world by storm. And then, one day, Terry too is invited to join Mirror. Tomorrow's are always a wait and see Life's 
time, Mira goes viral as people all over the world start sharing their true life warts and all stories pulled from each user's hippocampus and stored in Mira's database. It's a social phenomenon so intimate that users are obliged to treat each other's stories with respect, no matter how socially unacceptable the events depicted in those stories may be. But like everyone else on Mira, Terry's past is now an open book for all to see. <laughs>
give a shit about Gucci Louis V or Armani We all done naked, yeah Take a look in the mirror in tonight's news concerns the new social networking platform Mirror. Despite the platform's worldwide popularity, users are calling for increased protection around certain privacies such as mental health, nudity and drug use. Mirror's lawyers say all users agree to a memory scan when they first join the platform and that once the data's been narrativized, it can't be purged from the public domain. Meanwhile, a group of Mirror fanatics are up in arms over what they say are fictional elements contained in Mirror's memory processing algorithms. Mirror CEO Miyu Asakasa claims that Mirror narratives are based on cortical memory, but that some moments must be represented artificially, owing to a 17% degree of unreliable liability in visual memory. Coherent narratives, she says, wouldn't be possible without Mirror's Segway code. We'll have more on these grey area matters when we pass over to our correspondent, Ray Bosnan at 7pm. Reflections on your face The way you turn towards me Gives me a sense of your embrace And even though you try to warn me
darkness A constant Silent force Focus For my hopes and fears Angel Of the North
Angelica, Frank. Please listen to me, my back's against the wall.
I'm a fine thread Why does the sun always rise in the east? Why do the ones that we trust lie and cheat? Why is everyone always looking at me? I got someone that I'd like you to meet Through a fake lens Why does the sun always rise in the east? <gasps> Why do the ones that we trust line cheat? Why is everyone always looking at me? I got someone that I'd like you to meet Inside my head Inside my head Why is everyone always looking at me? I got someone that I'd like you to meet
was a time machine Would you choose to live again? Go backwards to and forwards Connecting with our voice Our circular existence Is not a conscious choice It's history repeating The eternal paradox The portrait in the attic That will never beat the clock There's order in the sequence And logic in a game The world beyond the looking glass Our birth will never change If I was a time machine Would you choose to live again?